Did you know that one of South Korea's most hated men used to be one of their most loved ones? Yoo Sung Jun was a symbol of many good things, kindness, humility and talent. But one wrong move ended his career and led to him being banned in his own country. That's Yoo Sung Jun, widely considered a traitor. Determined to become a K-pop idol, Yoo taught himself how to sing and dance when he was a teenager. He sent audition tapes to talent agencies and with his beautiful voice and killer dance moves, it didn't take long for him to be picked up. He debuted and quickly rose to fame, selling millions of albums and topping the charts. His life was picture perfect. But all of that would soon change with one mistake. The nation's role model for young adults, the cleanest celebrity people could imagine, had just broken the one thing Koreans are extremely sensitive about. You see, in South Korea, it's mandatory for men to serve in the military. That is why BTS is going to serve. So when the time for youth service was approaching, he was asked many times if he was looking forward to his training. You promised to serve just like every everyone else, but he never did. Before he could join the military, he changed his name, applied to become a US citizen and lost his South Korean citizenship in the process. For a country that takes military service very seriously, to the point where not even the biggest global celebrities are given exemption, this was a big mistake. The South Korean government felt that you deserted his responsibilities and that what he did was something so insulting, they decided to completely ban him from entering the country. And it's not just the government that felt disappointed by what you did, even though he was well loved by millions because of this one mistake. Right now, after two decades, the majority of South Koreans still think you deserve to be banned. A recent public opinion survey conducted this month showed that 7 out of 10 respondents were opposed to allowing youth entry to the country. Others claimed that you betrayed his own country and that he should never be allowed to visit South Korea ever again. And as for you, well, despite his incredibly negative image, he still wants to come back. He admits that lying to everyone in Korea was wrong, but insists that he never meant to disrespect anyone. You claim that he just answered in the way that any celebrity would, just to try to keep a good image, and he did not know that his words were going to get twisted. He even live-streamed a public apology 13 years after he was banished, saying that he would do whatever it takes for his country to forgive him. And so I show you this story because it proves to us that one critical mistake can change our lives forever. Let us always be grateful for our blessings and be mindful of our actions, because sometimes we won't know the consequences of our actions before it's too late.